And um, by the way, I've been sick lately for like a week. And I am still kind of sick, so that's why I've been MIA on here, except for creating shorts that nobody's watching. But anyway. They ask you how you are. You just Welcome to the channel if you know it's Sahara so today I am going to be doing full face Dollar Tree full face ish Dollar Tree makeup video for you guys I have been holding off on doing this for a while just packing up my makeup products so I can give you guys you know a decent quality video of Dollar Tree makeup some standout products that I just want to mention ahead of time before you click off this video because you're like I'm not interested in what she has to say oh we got some good ones Ioni has a new brow product out and be Pure, no, be pure, be colored, two different brands, or maybe the same brand. They also have a freckle pen. So I'm not going to show you guys up close, so just watch the whole video. And, um, I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. So, <laughs> what did I just say? <laughs> Let's get started. I am only using one studio light today and no other lights, so <laughs> we're just going to have to deal with this light. Let me zoom you guys in a little bit. We got a little friend today. It's a new year, and I'm sick. And I got a pimple on my face from my from that time of the month, so you know I'm working with a lot today, so you're gonna have to excuse that. Ioni Cosmetics, they came out with some new brow products. This is the brow pencil in the shade dark brown. They have one other one which is medium brown. I'm so glad I found this one because I use dark pencils for my eyes. You guys know I use the Oma by Sharon C one. Oh my gosh, my voice. <laughs> the Oma by Sharon C one, and it's like almost black. This looks dark, so hopefully, and I bought two by the way, I'm just showing both of them. Um, this is the packaging, it says Ioni, invites only. Let me put it on <laughs> while I'm sitting here talking about it. It's like, be about it, don't just talk about it. If you're new to my channel, I do shave the ends of my brows so I could draw them on more straight. That's just how I do it. My brows are naturally thick and you can see my hairline goes down naturally far. <laughs> so that's why it's best for my eyebrows to be thin, no spoolie. It is mechanical, so it goes up and down. Kind of, why is this nail polish peeling? I put clear nail polish on top of my nails, and it's peeling. But anyway, um, let's see how much product you receive. That's basically the amount you receive. That's a lot. The pencil kind of reminds me of a crayon. Let's see, can I get in close enough? So yeah, it looks like that. Let's just put it on. So again, I do draw them on more straight. Oh, this is pigmented, and it's gliding on very smooth. Um, the shade is more warm tone, oh, which I don't like that. I like more cool tone, like I said, um, more black brow products. But this glides on very smooth. Not sure if this pencil is going to stay straight though. Uh, not straight, but like um, sharpen. Oh, see, look, that looks good. It looks a little bit more like olive -y. And yeah, the pencil is not staying... Um, sharpen the one thing about ioni is they have excellent quality products they just have a very limited shade range okay and again i've been doing my routine a little bit different i haven't been taking it out like super straight like i usually do i kind of been like straight and then arched pointed down a little bit just to give them a little bit more shape okay so far so good i definitely feel like this is a product that's going to glide around so you're probably gonna have to um set it down <laughs> the concealer and foundation that they have at the dollar tree um it does not look good like promise well it looks promising at the store but i watched another girl's um dollar tree video that pimple is really bothering me <laughs> and she said that those foundation by the brand be pure is really really bad like it looked greasy oily so i did not pick those up and uh, they don't have eyeshadow primer so i'm going to use other things i'm using the wet and wild incognito concealer in a shade medium honey i think this is like the cheapest concealer in my collection and i still you know even though this is a dollar tree video and i can't use every dollar tree product i still want to give you guys cheap alternatives okay <laughs> i'm just gonna set right quick and again um when it comes to base products i did not buy a powder either they did not have any loose powders at any dollar tree the pressed powder that they had was like i think it was la colors and maybe some other brand and the shades did not look good so i'm just gonna use my maybelline fit me in a shade 20 light medium bi which stands for beauty intuition i showed you guys in a short they had a bunch of these different palettes so they had this rosy tone one a colorful one and a bronzy tone one but i was like 
stop it. <laughs> you do not need another bronzy tone palette that looks like every other palette that you have in your collection. I like it because it's more rosy tone. It's not like pink. And of course, I don't like pink, so <laughs> it was never going to happen. I can't tell if that's a shimmer. Okay, so there's like these three shimmers. These two are mattes. Um, these two are mattes and this one I can't really tell. I would do swatches, but sometimes I'm just like, why even bother? Start off with this shade. Like maybe can use this on the brow bone. It is dusty too. Okay, so it's like a lilac color, but still bright enough for me to use under the brow bone for a brow bone highlight. Let's start with this deeper tone. Not a lot of depth in this palette, but you can appreciate the fact that they added something this deep. <laughs> Yeah, that's definitely not deep. <laughs> I think then I'm gonna go into this red tone one right here. Okay, I'm gonna try to use as many shades as possible. And then I'm gonna use my color switching sponge from the Dollar Tree. This just allows you to use the same brush without having to um, clean it. And then this shade right here. I have this light one right here, but I'm not gonna use that. I think I have these ones right here, so let's see. Should I just do a little swatch here? Let's do a little swatch. Okay, so these are how the shades are looking. This one in the inner corner, this one over the lid, and this one towards the inner parts. And again, not spraying the brush. Let me try my finger. I don't really like how it's applying. It seems like it wants to like clump up in one section of the eye. Like, can you guys see how it's just like clumping up right there? I don't know. Okay, that's the, <laughs> that's the prettiest one. Oh my gosh. The shimmers are the best. I would say this one and these these two are not bad, but the rest of these, uh-uh. This is called Rosy Nudes. It needs to be called Dusty Nudes because that's exactly what this palette is giving. Besides that fiasco. The next thing I want to apply and remember to apply is this mascara because I have an eyeliner that um, can apply after. So if you guys also remember in that short, you know, I put all my Dollar Tree videos in shorts and stuff when I find things. But they had this mascara by the brand, also Beauty Intuition, so I couldn't, you know, the eyeshadow palette was not... Hopefully this is not since it's by the same brand, but this mascara, I love the packaging of it. It had an orange packaging, purple packaging, and pink packaging, and it says mascara on it. The packaging makes it look like it should be decent enough, so hopefully this works pretty good. It kind of reminds me of an old, I don't know, was it L'Oreal or Maybelline? I think it was an old Maybelline. Um, mascara that I used to use. Oh, this is very, very lengthening. Are there any claims? Big plump lashes, smudge proof, instant plump and curl, rich color. Apply two coats of mascara to upper and lower lash without letting the first coat dry to avoid, avoid, <laughs> avoid clumping. Can you guys see the length that these, that this mascara is giving me? This is nice. And by the way, I did forget to mention that these mascaras are not color mascaras, they're all black, but the packaging was just like colorful. Wow, that's really, really nice. I like that mascara, that <clears throat> that did a good job. So, B.I. redeemed themselves. I do want to apply this primer and then we can let it sit. So this is by B. Pure. This is the Ageless, Essentially, wait, Essentially Ageless Blur Face Primer. So this contains hyaluronic acid and vitamin E. Again, I did not want to buy their foundation or their concealer. Even if the girl did say it was good, I mean, at the end of the day, with only three or four shades available, everyone can't even use it anyway. But for primers, you can get a good amount of people that will be able to use a primer. So, let's see. It's supposed to blur the pore area, reduce the appearance of pores, smooth, minimize all of that. So let's see what this primer can do. Oh, I got some eyeshadow on my face, some fallout. I mean, if you're going to fall out on my face, at least be worth the fallout. <laughs> that eyeshadow palette was not worth no fallout. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna do one side of the face. Cause like I said, at the end of the day, more people would get the chance to, oh shoot, to use a face primer than, um, what kind of smell is that? Is that like rosy? Type of scent. I'm not applying anything on my little two heads, so you know, just 
focus on this side and I'm gonna apply it all over the face. I could tell that it's smoothing already. Oh, I knew that as I was rubbing it in, it reminded me of the Maybelline Poreless Primer. I think that's what it's called. Oh yeah, this is nice. If this does not make me break out, I might have to get me a backup because I don't have like too many smoothing primers and it also kind of mattified a little bit. I like that a lot. It is smoothing. Okay, so what is that smell? It's like kind of like cheap rosies. Rosies? <laughs> For eyeliner, I have the Ioni 2-in-1 Lash Glue Liner. I did, excuse me, I did try this eyeliner in a short it doubles as an eyeliner and a lash glue, so you just apply it. I'm going to be using some Ioni lashes, you guys know. I love Ioni. Five years ago was the first time I tried Dollar Tree makeup on my channel. And two years after that, so three years ago from now, I tried Ioni lashes for the first time on my channel. And since then, I've been collecting them. So these are the natural dual. You do not have to let this eyeliner sit. And while I do really love this liner... I do feel like it dries out too easily. Okay, so I just did a little wing so you guys can see that you can do wings. And now in real time, you will see me apply these lashes right away because you don't have to wait for the, for the lash glue to dry. camera I just went ahead and applied the rest of the um, liner on this side and the lashes because my camera needed to get itself together <laughs> for foundation I'm going to just apply my NYX born to glow this is affordable kind of because it's NYX but um it's lighter because right now I'm in my you know winter shades and my other foundations have been looking too um orange on me lately I'm like okay no the shade neutral tan and four sponges powder puffs all of that stuff the Dollar Tree has it going on. Okay, this primer is kind of burning like right in the crevices right here, but it's fine everywhere else. So I don't know. I think I am kind of sensitive right there anyway, but look, it's still smooth. Like I really love that primer besides that. I have the Sassy and Chic sponge that I showed you guys before. They also sell black sponges and they're really good, but they're soft. So this is how this one looks. And then these Beauty Puffs by the brand Sassy and Chic really love these too so these are like a beauty blender and a puff form you have to wet it i'm actually gonna go do that right now <laughs> i just came from wetting it so this is how big the sponge got and this is how big the beauty puff got versus how small it was so that's how it looks and it's very fluffy again like ooh. I haven't used this foundation in a long time and it's so good. So again, the Beauty Puff is three finger. <laughs> and it's also really good at um, setting powder as well. One thing about this right here is it keeps, it maintains um, <laughs> a lot of product. Oh, that foundation, I'm looking at my mirror down there and this foundation, I mean that primer, foundation <laughs> looks really good over that primer like it's really smooth and that's what I wanted. I wanted to see how it applied over a product that I know I really love. That's how you also give things a fair chance to see how they apply over product. Because it's like if it did not work good over a product I know I love, then I know it's that primer. <laughs> okay, do you guys see like how smooth it looks? Don't mind my deep set eyes. Oh my gosh, when I tell you guys that... Oh, it's too close. <laughs> me being sick the way i was i never have puffy eyes my eyes are naturally deep set right here where you know you know it's a little bit more puffy right here and it looks deeper right there my eyes were so puffy like i don't know what type of sick i am but also for the past like couple of days i haven't been getting any sleep the like couple of days before christmas 
I have pulled an all-nighter. I mean, I was up until like 5 in the morning. <laughs> Mostly watching, what are those popular videos that everybody's been doing lately? Um, I do have a cream contour stick. I wanted to get as many products as I could. So LA Colors has the contour stick and they also have a highlighting stick. So this is in the shade medium. Oh, it, it rolls up. There's a lot of product. But yeah, anyway, that's how much you receive. This is in a shade medium. They did have another shade tan, and I think light and fair, but I got medium just to see. Oh, this is creamy. This glide on. Ugh. Doesn't smell too cheap. That's what I was worried. I was like, is it gonna smell like crayon? <laughs> yeah, that glides on really smooth. I could have went for that shade tan, but I didn't want it to be too harsh. I've been watching blind date videos. Let me apply some right here. Hopefully I don't mess that up. But yeah, those videos have been really good seeing them put people on blind dates. Now the one thing I will <laughs> say is some people be coming on them blind dates already in a relationship and like content or no content out of respect for the person that you're with, keep your at <laughs> home. You don't have no business going on these blind dates. Like even if it's just for content, just out of respect for the person you're with. like. If I found out the person I was dating went on a blind date just to help out a friend, I'd be like, goodbye. You can continue to help out that friend <laughs> without me around. Like, no. So yeah, what videos on YouTube have been keeping you guys up all through the night? <laughs> like I said, it's the blind date one for me. Alright, should I try to blend this out with a sponge? Let's see how it blends out with a sponge. This is very creamy. Hmm, doesn't blend out too bad with a sponge. It's definitely blending into almost nothing because um, the shade tan would have been better for me, but it is what it is. Alright, and then let's go back in with that foundation sponge and kind of like... Okay, so so far so good. I'm loving like the base products. No cream blush and no highlighter. I mean cream highlighter. I do have highlighter though. Let me go ahead and set the face with the Maybelline. For bronzer, um... I'm cheating a little bit and not going in with a Dollar Tree product. This is just a product that came to the Dollar Tree at one point. Kind of like when you see like those e.l.f. products and stuff. Ardell was at the Dollar Tree. They still have some products at the, depending on which Dollar Tree you go to. But this is the Vacay Mold Bronzer. I showed you guys this a while back too. It's in the shade Bronze Crazy and Rich Soul. I do think that they discontinued it. But that's sad that this is the deepest shade. Like there should have been one deeper than that. But... Ardell is an eyelash brand anyway, maybe they should stick to that. <laughs> Let me just focus on a top shade. Just to and they're sculpting out the nose. I do have an Ioni blush. I also use this in a short, and I was so excited because I was like, can you guys believe how pigmented this blush is? It's in the shade Pink Rose, and the packaging is so cute. Look at the little fairy. But look at that blush. It is like pigmented. I wouldn't say dusty, like the palette, like that palette was dusty. That's not the word I'm looking for. Kind of like chalky. Like it's not like smooth to the touch, but it is very, very pigmented. A little goes a very long way. And I think that this shade would be great for all skin tones because it packs a punch. And it's not like a really pale pink. Oh shoot, that's too much. <sighs> Yeah, no, just like a pack for fun. Oh, and I'm excited about this. So this is an Ioni highlighter. I did not use this. When I was um, finding these products at the Dollar Tree, because I went to like seven Dollar Trees, like I told you guys before, and my, I wouldn't say area, but facil vicinity, <laughs> like I can go to like seven Dollar Trees. I mean, it's kind of pushing it, but you know, when it comes to, <laughs> when it comes to gas. Oh, that packaging is nice. Is that prehistoric? eternal youth okay and they do have these um products in different packaging it just depends on what collection it comes out with but look at that it has a fountain right there and a shade golden glow oh this packaging this cardboard you kind of have to like bend it and then it's like magnetic the blush this packaging is so cute if they could come out with bronzers in this packaging like this that would be great let me bend this to try to close it oh that is smooth I thought it was like a cushion highlighter like you guys know one of those is it a cushion that you can stick your finger in and it like goes down i can't tell but that is super smooth Ooh. let me go in with my morphe m501 oh yeah it picks up a lot it's powdery Ooh, that is pretty 
it says golden glow but it's like a light gold it's not it's not like um like it's not what <laughs> It's doable, okay? It's not like a light icy gold. Let's spray this spray. So um, another brand that I am cheating on as well <laughs> with the um, you know Dollar Tree makeup is a brand called ITK. I found this at the Dollar Tree a couple of like about a month or two ago. So I don't know if they still have it available. I've been saving this stuff to try to build up a collection to get you guys a good video. So you know it is what it is. But this is a setting spray. It's at Walmart. I think I seen this for about fifteen dollars at Walmart, and I was like why is it at the Dollar Tree and then I smelled it and I was like that's why <laughs> so this is broad spectrum SPF 30 sunscreen setting mist sets makeup plus UVA UVB protection plus blue light protection it smells like alcohol okay like and I said I would stay away from setting sprays that smell like that because the black radiance one a long time ago smelled like alcohol and I was like I feel like it's kind of burning my skin but you know just for the video's sake if it burns my skin i'm throwing it away right after this video but if it doesn't i'll just keep it and deal with it because it does have sunscreen oh shoot oh wait a minute okay that's burning my eyes why did that spray out like that oh stinks is it oily or something i swear if i open my eyes and my makeup has melted off my face i'm gonna be disgusted <laughs> oh look at how my face looks oh that spray is horrible my face looks like it has like i don't even know look at how oily it is up here let me see can i dab it in a little bit yeah that spray is definitely something you want to apply before makeup and not after makeup because it can take your makeup. <laughs> no, it's like, where's the powder at? Just go back in with a little bit of powder just to smooth it out right quick. That spray is a <laughs> Anyway, now for the lips, I do have a couple of products. So this is an e.l.f. product I got at the Dollar Tree a while back. The e.l.f. Line and Blend. One side is a liner and it's in a shade Natural. So it's way too light as, an eye, as a lip liner. And then the other side, is a brush why is that spray in my mouth another product that was at the Dollar Tree was the L'Oreal um, lipstick so this is in the shade tease actually let me swatch that lip liner just so you guys can see that actually matches the look so if I was to apply that all over the lips that would be pretty it's not like exactly like a liquid lipstick that's another pretty shade that would match my shirt actually this LA colors lip color for a while in the shade incognito I really really love this one it is a nude but it's like a pinky tone nude and then they just released some new LA colors lipsticks I think these are like reformulated or something but they came out with different shades and this nude one looks pretty. So I got it in the shade O Teddy. They had a bunch of like a nude set going on with different brown tones. But of course I went for the lightest one. Hopefully it's not the same color as this pinky tone one. Dang, hopefully it's brown. It kind of looks like a mauve. Is that mauve, mauve, mauve? <laughs> and I just knew, just knew that was like, anyway, let's just apply this to see how it looks. That smells like, is it cookies and cream or something? That smell is strong, but it smells like baked goods, like bakery. It glides on really smooth. I was not expecting that color. I don't like this color at all. Over it a little bit with incognito. And then um, L'Oreal around the outer part since I don't have a lip liner. I don't know why LA Colors didn't launch lip liners there. All right, so that's just the shade that we're gonna have to work with. That'll have to do for now since they don't have, you know, any lip liners at the Dollar Tree and I am not going to get one of my lip liners. I mean, dang, the shade O Teddy should be brown, not mauve. Like, what kind of shade is this? This is purpley pink. That's irritating. Ooh, it seems like that spray tried to take some of my, um, my lashes off. To finish off the eyes, I do have this eyeliner. I have a couple of these LA Colors eyeliners. This auto one green, this blue one, and then this white one. I could have sworn I had another one. I had a purple one, but let's just use the white today. And they do have a couple of shades in these 
auto liners at the Dollar Tree too. I think it's on the same stand as the Oh Teddy lipstick. Let's go back in with this palette and I'm going to use that deepest tone even though it's not deep enough. It'll have to do for now. Okay, that's all I'm going to apply because <laughs> that's probably the only thing that's going to show up. Alright, so let's go ahead and apply this mascara on the lower lashes because again, I really like this. And the wand is not like a plastic wand. I just took my hair down. I'm feeling better. <laughs> Last thing I have for you guys is this B Color. B Pure and B Color. Is that the same B brand? <laughs> so this is the freckle pen. Now personally, I don't use freckle pens or anything like that. I mean, I don't create faux freckles. I don't have freckles, none of that. But I did want to try this out for you guys that do love to use um, freckle pens. This is in a shade dark brown. I don't necessarily know if they have other shades for this product. Gently dot freckles directly onto bare skin or over makeup. Tap out product with your finger to blend into skin for a more natural appearance. Alright, so let's see. This is how the packaging looks. Okay, so it looks like that. Oh, I can't believe how smooth my skin looks right here. Do you guys see how smooth that looks? Like, are you seeing what I'm seeing? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, but that is pigmented. Like, they ain't lying when they said dark brown. And I like that when you press it really hard and you kind of like blend it, it kind of creates dots that continue to go on. Wow. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> Who is she with the faux freckles? Well, let's do like a quick run through of everything I use so far. Well, together, all together because I'm done. <laughs> Get the product ready so I can walk you guys through what I would recommend, what I'd leave at the store. So this Ioni Brow Pencil, I love this. As you guys can see, it glide really, really smooth. It's really pigmented. The shade is not too bad. Like I said, it is a little bit more warm tone. It's not as cool tone as I like my brow pencils to be. But it is dark enough, and I really like that. So I would definitely recommend. And again, this is the shade Dark Brown, but they do have Medium Brown. So if you need something a little bit lighter, it's at the store. <laughs> it does not have a spoolie, but you know, we have plenty of eyeshadow brushes and stuff that has spoolie so that shouldn't be a big deal to you the eyeshadow palette leave this at the store this is dusty rusty like the shimmers are not too bad but I would say um, out of the whole thing only two shimmers being the thing that stands out in a palette is not even worth it when I went to blend I definitely felt like it was starting to like I don't know separate or lift up in the crease part so yeah definitely would not would not what would not recommend oh yeah yeah the la colors contour stick definitely recommend oh my gosh if anything was the standout product in this video it was definitely this this blended out so well did not look patchy i mean i did use the powder bronzer so you're not going to be able to tell but you can kind of still see it on the nose a little bit Besides that powder bronzer that I always use on the nose. But yes, this is pigmented creamy. I'm definitely going to go back and get the shade tan. Again, this is the shade medium. But it still showed up very well. And you do get a lot of product. But yeah, this is really, really nice. This was really good as well. The Essentially Ageless Blur Face Primer. I would definitely recommend getting this. You guys can see my face still looks smooth and blurred around the pore area. I really like this. Again, I'm going to test it over time before I do buy another one. You know, just in case over time I do start seeing acne or irritation, rash, because like I said, it was burning a little bit right there, but sometimes when I put products too close in the crevices of my nose, it does kind of start burning, so that may have just been what it is, but I will continue to test this. I'll probably even update you guys in a short, but yes, so far, so good. I would recommend. Oh, this spray... <laughs> this got to go for mascara i love this mascara look at the lower lashes my makeup is creasing right now because of that spray but yes this mascara is really good so if you can still find this pick it up and again they had it in orange purple and pink but that's just the color of the packaging the actual product is the um black but yeah it lengthened really really well let's see the ardell that's ardell that's not a dollar tree brand for Ioni, you know, you know what it is when it comes to Ioni, the lashes, the liner glue, the brows, and these two products right here that are newer to me as well, the blush and pink rose. 
and the highlighter in Golden Glow. Love all of these. Standout products would definitely be, of course, their lashes because they have like the best lashes on the market for literally a dollar twenty-five. But some other standout products, definitely, you know, their base products, blush and highlight. So I would definitely recommend. And I love this packaging. They really need to continue with this different packaging. Happy spell eternal use it doesn't like enhance texture because again i thought it was like a cushion but it's very creamy and it's soft and that helps it not enhance the texture because if it was like a a powdery formula it probably would have but it didn't so it's good <laughs> the lip products i mean if you like the shade then i would recommend because it's pigmented glides on really smooth it's more of a satin finish this one was like matte and this one is more of like a satin but the shade oh teddy so teddy it was teddy and <laughs> it was supposed to be teddy it was and it's mauvey but you know regardless la colors has some good quality products let's see the elf lip liner is um not dollar tree l'oreal's not dollar tree okay the last dollar tree product i used and the last product i used in this video was the b color freckle pen oh i would definitely recommend if you love creating faux freckles and you need something that's also going to show up this is really good this seems like this would be a really good product on maybe deeper skin tone maybe medium to deep definitely deeper than mine because you can see like it shows up it's dark so this dark brown is really good i don't know if they have other shades i just grabbed this one up but yeah very pigmented and it goes a long way when you start pressing and of course like i said when it comes to beauty puff and the sponge it's really good their um their products their sponges and stuff you don't really have to worry about that oh and i did forget to mention that they do sell brushes at the dollar tree but um the only brush that i've seen as of now was for valentine's day they had about they had one of those beautiful rose brushes i was gonna get it but i was like if i get it i'm not even gonna want to use it because the brush looks so beautiful <laughs> which is what i did to another brush i don't think i have with me right now i didn't even use it after i bought it because it was so beautiful but yeah they do have brushes you guys can try those out if you want to that is it i hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video hopefully i'm not sick bye <laughs> I'm